Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to give you an update on the construction of an overnight suite at the Bustamante Hospital. Now what the government wants to do is to build a building. It originally was to be a two-story building to have like 20 suites so that parents could stay with their children at the hospital. Bustamante is a, is a children's hospital. So the funding was put in place to build the building, to house the, the overnight suites. Construction started and as you hear so many times, it has stopped. They don't know if they're going to meet a deadline. Now, why do you think that is? According to the government, a fallout between the NHT and the contractor, a local contractor, has caused the problem. Now, when you hear NHT, and I think this building has to do with the National Health Fund as well. But when you hear NHT, you know money is not a problem. If NHT is going to build a building, money is not a problem. NHT is one of the best run government entities out there. Modern equipment, they build modern buildings, efficiently run and very profitable. I don't know if profitable is the right word to use, but they have money billions of dollars now they have so much money that i don't know if they still do it but there was a time they used to give money to the government to support the budget that's how much money they have billions of dollars they would give the government every year so for them to build a building i think the price was 120 million for the building at the bustamante hospital that's nothing. This is a company that would give loans for billions of dollars to build buildings. Billions. They could give billions to the government. So there's no issue when it comes down to money. And certainly not 120 million when it comes down to NHT. So according to the article, and I'm going to read it now. A fallout between the National Housing Trust and one of its contractors is being cited as a primary factor jeopardizing the completion deadline of an overnight stay facility for parents at the Bustamante for Children Hospital. Sorry, the Bustamante Hospital for Children in Kingston. Now, original, okay, that's the quote from the article. Now, This project involved two stages. The National Health Fund was to do a certain part, which was done and completed. They used a local contractor that was done. Then the second part included the National Housing Trust to do the, um, the remaining work. That is the part that has now caused a problem. I'm going to read another part of the article now. The NHF had respond some responsibilities and the NHT had some responsibilities. I don't want to personally implicate the NHT because it is one government, but the truth is that the NHF has done its part, Tufton said. According, apparently, the NHT had some difficulties. They have fired a contractor and the ball is really in their court now. That is essentially the conclusion. There was no explanation as to when or why the contractor was fired and all stakeholders directed such queries to the NHT which falls under the Prime Minister Andrew Holness. It falls under the office of the Prime Minister. The, the CERO, that's the South East Regional Health Authority, had allocated a $120 million budget for building the suite, but the value of the contract signed by the NHT and the circumstances of its termination remain unclear. 
Now, the good thing is we have foreign contractors coming. And we have to seriously ask a question. Why don't they just use China Harbor Engineering Company or one of these new contractors that are coming to build the hospitals? But the good thing is more foreign contractors are coming. Five more contractors are coming. Three Chinese, one French, and one Canadian. And these are massive, comp massive, develop massive contractors, huge companies. They could build a one-story building probably in a month with the expertise and equipment that they are coming with. So, guys, what do you think? Use the foreign contractors to build essential infrastructure such as hospitals and things that are time sensitive. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. We're actually driving through the Bogwa Gorge today. Alright guys, enjoy the rest of the tour. Remember to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments in the section below. Let us know what you think. Alright guys, have a good day.